Hello again. Today I will show you how to run some specific and useful reports you may want to try in, uh, in EasyStamp. As the size of your collection grows, it's sometimes a good idea to know where the bulk of the value in your collection lies. An easy way to do this in EasyStamp is to uh, color code the reports and list views to highlight the values greater than a certain amount that you can set. You can easily set it so that any stamp over, say, $250 is highlighted in the color of your choice. Uh, let me show you how. So first thing we'll do is we'll run a report that I have right now for Israel, which I'm in. And I've inventoried some stamps here. And you can see some of the stamps are valued at 350 and 156 It's kind of hard to spot them, but it's really simple once you change an option here. And we're going to go into the display mode, and we're going to set the high currency to a different color. So we're going to say, I want to see everything uh, with a minimum of $250 on it. And then we'll change the color to a bright green, which is what I like. But you can change it to anything that you like, and click OK. And if we run that same report now, you'll see that any stamp that is uh, valued at more than $250 is going to be nicely uh, highlighted so you can spot it very quickly. And we can also run this report um, across all countries that we have inventoried. So if I run this as a global report, um, so here are the ones that in Canada that are worth more than $250 in Israel or, or wherever I've uh, actually inventoried them. You can also run uh, specific reports to see which stamps lie within a certain range of values across all countries that you've inventoried. Say you want to see a report of all stamps that you own between $25 and $500. This is easily done using the Power Search and Easy Stamp, and I'll show you how. So we'll do a Power Search. And as you can see, I've told it that I want to do any inventory grade greater than $25 and less than or equal to $500. We can run it just for the current country that we have open right now, which is uh, Israel, and it found two, so there they are. I can also easily run that report again and do a global search, which means that it'll search all the countries that I have inventoried in and uh, display them to me. So here's all the Canadian stamps that I've inventoried that are between $25 and uh, $250 or $500, whatever I set it at. And then you can uh, also easily view these as thumbnails instead of the list view. So you can just kind of scroll back and forth to see which ones uh, are, are uh, match the criteria that, uh, that we selected. Another common report that we use all the time is the grade search report. Let's say you wanted to see uh, all the stamps that you own in a grade of mint never hinged very fine. Very simple to do in Easy Stamp. We'll do a, a what's called a uh, oops. We'll do a grade search, and I'm going to select mint never hinged very fine, and I'm going to tell show me anything that I have again in the current country, which is uh, Israel. I click on show, and there's all the stamps that I have in Israel that have a grade of mint never hinged very fine. We can also um, run that report globally. So if I do it again, and this time again I'll show it in the spreadsheet viewer. So here's all the stamps that I own in, in um, uh, that are in a grade of mint never hinge very fine. You can also easily switch to see them in a in, a, in the thumbnail viewer. And if you wanted to jump to any particular one, you can just double click on it and it'll bring it up in easy step. More tips and useful videos will be coming soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like us on Facebook. That's all for today.